Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 1. Uh, the title of today's lesson is Idioms Related to Salt. And, you know, you find out here that salt actually originally refers to money or refers to value. So that's where the origin comes from. So let's take a look at the note. Uh, in the past, before the Roman Empire introduced silver or gold coins, salt was the main currency. Roman soldiers were paid in salarium or salt money. Uh, the origin of the word salary actually derives from salt. It comes from salt. So uh, salt was so valuable at that time because, of course, that was one of the only ways to keep food fresh. There was no refrigerators. Uh, there was no way to refrigerate food. So salt was the main preservatives. Uh, so if you wanted to keep food for a longer period of time, uh, you needed salt. So salt was very valuable, so soldiers were actually paid in salt. They were paid in bags of salt. That's how valuable salt was. So that's why all of these uh, idioms that we covered today, we cover four idioms, uh, they all have the word salt in them, and this is why salt sometimes refer to either money or value in some way. So uh, let's take a look at the first idiom we have here. Uh, to take something with a grain of salt. All right, so what does this mean? Uh, if you take something with a grain of salt, you mean that he or she should not believe it or put much value in it because it may not be true or accurate. Now remember, a grain of salt, one grain is one little tiny piece of salt. So if you just had one little tiny piece of salt, even in the Roman Empire, that was not worth much money. So we mean that you shouldn't put value in what this person says. So that's why we actually say the phrase to take something with a grain of salt. Don't put much value in what they say. Don't assume that it's accurate. Just kind of take it very lightly. That's what we mean with this phrase to take something with a grain of salt. So let's look at one example we give for this idiom. Uh, don't pay much attention to what he told you. You should take everything he says with a grain of salt. Don't put much value in it. Okay, good. Let's look at the second idiom. No person worth their salt would do something. Again, no person worth their value or money would do this particular thing. Uh, so what does it mean? No person, especially of a particular profession. So you might say, uh, no uh, photographer or no teacher or whatever would do this particular thing. Uh, who deserves respect would take part in such an activity. All right, we do have one example here. Uh, no journalist worth his or her salt would write such a one-sided biased article. Yeah, a professional journalist is supposed to be fair. They're supposed to, you know, just report things the way, uh, the way they see it, uh, or the way uh, they're supposed to look at both sides. They're supposed to be kind of neutral, at least initially. They're supposed to at least say what both sides uh, mean or what both sides present. They're not supposed to just write all completely towards one side and completely knock or criticize the other side. So that's what we would say. No journalist worth his or her salt would write this article. So if they do this, it makes them look bad. It doesn't make them look like really a professional or fair journalist. All right, uh, let's look at number three, salt of the earth. Okay, what does that mean? Someone who is the salt of the earth is the most worthy of people, uh, especially someone who is good hearted and dependable. Uh, in this way, we say that they are a person of high standing or high value, uh, especially in their behavior and in their, you know, their, their belief in morals and integrity, something like that. We would we'd say somebody is the salt of the earth. So let's look at one example we have here. Bob is the salt of the earth. You can count on him to judge fairly. Uh, I don't know anyone who has a higher sense of morals. Okay. So again, you put... Uh, you put value in this person. You think this person is worthy. So, again, this is where the idea comes from. It all comes from the origin of salt in the Roman Empire being money. All right, let's look at number four. Uh, we, uh, this one could either be earn one's keep or earn one's salt. All right, so again, salt almost being like money again. 
Uh, if someone earns their keep or salt, they deserve whatever they are paid. So you think they're well worth the money of what they're paid because they did such a good job. They did such a high quality job. They're worth whatever you're paying them. They are worth their salt. Again, salt meaning money. Okay. Uh, and let's just give uh, one last example for this one. Uh, you won't find a harder worker. He is worth his salt. So again, this is where the origin of this comes from. It comes all the way back from the Roman Empire uh, using salt as a currency to mean like money or value in something. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I hope you enjoyed it. hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.